Hello, my name is Paul Hoffman. I'm the author of The Left Hand of God, a story about a group of children who suddenly discover that they have to grow up very, very quickly in a world where violence and cruelty are the most central experiences of their lives. The idea for writing about it, in a way, came very late on. Um, it, it's an odd thing if you talk to people who are a bit older than I am, in their 70s, 80s, that they start to remember their childhood much, much more clearly um, the older they get. And to some extent that was the, the case here, that I started to think about it. And in a way, because it's your childhood, you, even if it's very strange, is yours. You don't necessarily, I always thought it was, was strange, but it was only when I started thinking about it much later, looking at it back from the kind of perspective of 40 years, that it suddenly occurred to me that it really was very, very weird indeed. And as I started to write, although the events it describes are, are kind of terrifying and horrible, um, the thing is, I also often found myself laughing as each new ludicrous um, extremity and absurdity and monstrous um, idea would come out. So there was a sense in which, despite the fact that it's horrible, this is not a misery memoir or anything like it, um, that I started in a rather perverse way to enjoy recreating it. And I, I hope the sense of kind of black distaste of humour that comes out from the, the children themselves, that they're finding it ridiculous, um, even as it's, it threatens their very existence, um, comes across. And I, I enjoyed that in, in a curious way, because it was partly about distance, but also partly about mockery. Um, but what I didn't realise, I think, was the extent to which other people would be fascinated by it. Um, the one thing in the editing stage uh, uh, that was interesting, which is different from mostly what people want, want to do, is to make things shorter. Um, the thing that surprised me is that can't you make this longer? Can't you give us more detail? Which surprised me a bit. I thought people would think, oh, that's enough. It's so grim that um, we don't want to stay here. Um, but it was very easy, in a way, simply <laughs> to go back. I didn't have to invent anything. It was just, I said, all this strange stuff. Um, lying around. I mean, there were things in particular that um, even now I can't quite believe that it's actually the case. In the, in the very beginning of the book, there's a scene where Kale delivers um, the Redeemer's washing um, to a convent which is completely isolated from the rest of the uh, sanctuary and they never see the nuns inside and they only talk to them through this revolving drum with a wall in it. And that's actually based entirely and literally on the, the truth.